Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Unfiltered. Pastor David, welcome. Hey, John. Uh, today, Pastor, I wanted to ask you what your thoughts are when a pastor belittles or demeans the sheep from the pulpit. When a pastor demeans the sheep, when he belittles the sheep, I believe he's he's not a shepherd. I believe what he is is a, um, a tyrant, um, a bully. You know, I... Um, I've seen it, you know, I, I can still remember as a, as a uh, young Christian, young Christian pastor, um, hearing the phrase, we're to feed the sheep, not beat the sheep. Mm -hmm. So that's been in my, uh, my heart for a long time. I think, think that there are, there are many who, based on their own supposed sense of authority, or their own sense of uh, importance, or perhaps the their their desire to be open, maybe to to reveal um, that they have uh, a great knowledge that people need to respond to. I think there are a lot of reasons people can begin to lord it over the sheep. But past the uh, the uh, apostle Peter, when he was writing to the uh, in his first letter, he had said that we are to, to not lord it over the sheep. When Jesus was speaking to Peter, he told them that, Peter, you're to be tenderly caring for my sheep. And, uh, you know, there, there are so many scriptures that relate to how the Lord ministers to us, you know. And, um, you know, we're, we're told by Isaiah that he'll, he'll gently lead those who are with young. He carries them in his bosom. You know, so there's a tenderness that the shepherd has towards the sheep. And so any minister who beats the sheep calls them names. And I've seen it, you know, from the pulpit um, to call people names. And I've seen it. I saw uh, a recording of a quote-unquote pastor telling husbands that the way they show authority is to tell their wives to shut their mouths. You know, and I, I, I don't see scripture anywhere that, that tells me that Jesus abused the sheep. Mm -hmm. Even when he was angry, even when there was in his heart a, a holy and, 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 and righteous anger, you know, he didn't demean them. He didn't tell them they were, they were worthless or stupid or whatever. So uh, uh, no, no true shepherd is going to demean the sheep. Nobody should leave a church service feeling less. They should walk out saying, I can be more, and I am more in Christ. If there's an area of, of uh, ignorance in my life, a lack of knowledge and understanding, I should be able to walk out saying, I didn't realize that, didn't know that, I hadn't heard that, and now that I have, I can act upon that. But if I stand up there in my, in my pulpit and and I say, this is something that is true, and if you don't believe it, you're just whatever, you're stupid. And I have seen that, I've heard that said. That's not a shepherd, that's a tyrant. That, that's not, a, that's not a, a person of compassion, that's, that's a person that really ought to take some time with Jesus and in, in, in prayer and fellowship. And John, I just, that's one of the things that I have a real, I really reject. I just think that there's no place in the pulpit for a bully. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus didn't bully his sheep and no pastor ought to. That's how I feel about that. And there are a lot of people who are under tyrants and they think that that's authority. What it is, it's abuse. They just don't know it. Yeah, as you mentioned, you don't see ever see Jesus doing that to no. any of the people that he was ministering to. No. And you know, I, I was thinking about that as you were sharing Maybe the person who just lost a loved one or somebody who's going through some brokenness or something and hearing that, you know, one of the, you mentioned the word stupid. That was, for me, that's very derogatory. It's a terrible word. And if somebody calls me that, you know, those are fight words. You know, those are- They're very hurtful. Hurtful. And, and then to be at the most holy table to, to where you're giving the word of God out, yeah. to use that, that- No, you, you don't ever demean. You're, you're there to edify, to encourage, you know, bring ex exhortation in. And, and all of that, you know, you bring correction, you know, all of that. 
But my goodness, if, if I as a father demeaned my son or my daughter, if I said you're stupid, you know the word stupid in our house as my children were growing up was really, was looked at as being a, a bad word. A bad word. You just don't use words yeah. like that. And again, John, I I think that the many churches are looking for a hero to such a degree that they're willing to be abused by mm. the person that they that they worship. It's just wrong. Yeah. Well, Pastor, thank you for sharing on that. Uh, again, I've, I've I've heard just recently of that as well, and just didn't sit well. No, it doesn't. And so, uh, but thank you for sharing. I do want to invite our church family to come out and join us on Wednesday, tomorrow evening, Pastor, as you're taking us through Romans. Mm -hmm. And we look forward to having that study. I want to invite you guys to to come out and join us. And so come out and join us Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. We look forward to having you. Pastor, thank you for joining us. Thank you guys for tuning in and God bless you.